Hola amigos, hola amigas. Welcome, bienvenido, croissue, salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh, jack, shimash, ni, ho, hey, and good day, y'all. So today we are going to be doing a try and to fix video, as you saw from the description. And we are going to be trying to fix this. So this is a Hallmark keepsake, Magic Sound and Light, the transporter chamber from the original series of Star Trek. Now, I bought this as a Christmas present and I from eBay secondhand and I received it. And unfortunately, it doesn't work. So this is the transporter chamber aboard the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. Captain Kirk, Science Officer Spock and Chief Engineer Scott enter the transporter chamber. The crew members are then converted into a beam of energy and reassembled in another location to begin their mission. No Starfleet vessel leaves space dock without one. So you attach uh, the clip at the back of the ornament directly to a lamp socket on the standard miniature light string. Press the button on the front of the ornament to activate the sounds and lights. Complete light clip instructions are enclosed. So battery operated. So let's open this up. And let's bring you a little closer. So here we go. This is what we are looking at. What you do is inside there, you know, the um, more old fashioned um, Christmas lights, you poke one of them through there so it will always light up. But then you push the button here and you will have lights. There's three LED lights there and there's also sound comes out of it as well. And then that's the hook then that goes and hooks it onto the Christmas tree. It's a very, very nice model. It's very, very detailed. I really do like it. And I know that the person I bought it for will also love it as well. I have a, I bought a number of these. I buy a few every year to go with uh, his collection. So, and we have a, a designated Christmas tree in the kitchen, which is the um, sci-fi tree. Mm -hmm. So underneath here is the compartment for the batteries. Now I can see that these are just ever so slightly kind of, they look a little bit corroded. I tried three batteries from the house and they didn't work. So let's hope, well not hope, but well you know what I mean. Otherwise this video isn't going to get shown if it works. So the batteries are in nothing and i've tried wiggling the batteries and there is just nothing nothing at all no so let's do some discovering let me get my bits out that i need for this and uh, let's see if we can um Let's see if we can get it to work. So the first thing I want to check is to make sure that there is power in the batteries for starters. Okay, so the batteries do work. The thing is, hang on, this is flickering, hang on. That's better. Um, the thing is, taking this apart, it does not look easy. It looks like it could possibly be glued in. So I want to try as much of um, trying to fix it without... I mean, I can see that there, there's a lot of corrosion inside there. So I think our first protocol, someone's obviously left batteries in these over Christmas, over the, you know, over the year, because these look very, very, um, yeah, corroded. So I want to clean them. So what I'm going to do is I've got some isopropyl alcohol and I have got some cotton buds. So I'm going to put some isopropyl in there it was still flickering I've had to reduce you down to 30 FPS um, and just 
see if by cleaning these this one looks very badly corroded Right, so what I need to do is that one seems to be kind of like there's a little like a slight layer of rust on it. What I need to do is to rub it down. Uh, let me get my tongs. So I got some tongs and I've got a piece here of um, 240 sandpaper. <coughs> so I'm just going to tear a little strip off. And I'm going to try and rub this clean. Okay, so what I've got here is some contact cleaner. And I'm just going to spray that in and clean it. Especially on this one. That was badly corroded. I'm going to do them all. This stuff dries off pretty quick. And the other thing I'm going to do very slightly is just pull these springs out a little bit. on this one because this was the worst affected you don't want to rub away too far at the metal otherwise the um, <sighs> right let's just try it No, nothing. This battery, if I put this contact metal into here so it's touching it, there. It worked then for a second. There we go.
Oh, there we go. So that worked. So cleaning the contacts obviously worked. Once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. But see, as soon as you have the batteries in a different position, it's to do with the contact of this one. These ones seem to touch, you can see they're touching the um, contact a lot better than this one is. This one really doesn't have much space. It's corroded quite a bit. I mean, it's working now. But the thing is, how long is it gonna last? So what I need to do on this one in here that you can see, even though I've cleaned it up and it's made it a bit better, it's still not quite touching the battery. So what I'm gonna have to do is if I put a spot of um, solder in there, just to try and build that up a little bit, it'll have better contact with the batteries. Now the other ones are fine, and when I look when you look down on it, you can see it's not quite touching it. I mean, I, I, the thing is, I just don't want to have to sort of like completely strip this, take it apart, because I don't know how well it's going to go back together because it doesn't look. Oh, sugar cube! See what I mean? That was exactly what I was trying to avoid. You biscuit. <laughs> I don't really want to break it, and then I just broke it. Right, okay. I'm leaving it. Don't touch it anymore. Uh, right, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little build-up of um, solder on that just to build it up a little bit. So I got my little soldering kits all set up here. What this is is some um, uh, clean soldering from Heb... Well, anyway, it is um, soldering iron cleaner. Just a little tub. And you just dip it in. Wipe it off a new sponge. And then you have a nice clean tip. Nothing like a nice clean tip. Right, okay. Oh, it smells horrible. Let's move you closer and let's... Uh, let's give it a go. faff around with it too much because um, I don't want to damage it anymore. I just wanted to add a little bit more umph into it. So let me turn off my soldering iron. Okay, so that's cooled down. Let's give it a go. Let's put the batteries just in. There we go.
So there we go. Fantastic. It is now working. The other thing I did notice is that uh, Jim's leg is just coming out away from his boot a little bit. So what I'm going to do is put a tiny, and I mean a tiny little drop of this super, super glue onto his boot. And then have it down. Remove any excess. And leave that dry. So there we go. Oh, you can't turn it off. So I'm going to have to do a thing with the battery there. So there we go. That is Christmas present saved, ready now for going back into the box and being wrapped up. And I hope you've enjoyed just a very simple little fix on this. I will have to get myself one of those um, cleaning pens. They're um, like a fiber optic or, or fiber carbon fiber or something sort of like cleaning pen is to clean the metal and stuff would be a lot easier but as long as i've got it working um he says there we go it's still not 100 percent, but it's better than what it was now i need to turn it off there we go so there we go done dusted not uh, an amazing fix i am learning all about this kind of stuff and uh trying to practice and everything with the soldering and um how to's and things so i hope you've enjoyed it so thank you very much and on behalf of myself beam me up scotty